Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I have a tent in this hallway thing. <laughs> Why? Because I have two toddlers. Oh, okay. Anyways, good morning. Welcome back to the vlog. You guys love vlogs, so I'm giving it to you. Um, what did we talk about today? So I thought we'd talk about how I'm doing with my weight loss journey. If you guys have been following me, it's been almost a year. Actually, it's been over a year because I started in October of last year, changing my diet to be more plant-based. Um, I still do eat meat, but only on occasion. And I try to eat a lot more vegetables. So I just want to show you some of the things that I've been doing to have sustainable weight loss. Um, last year I weighed in about 142 to 144 and around 21% to body fat, which is absolutely great. Nothing was wrong with that. I just personally felt a lot more sluggish. I was not very active and that for me had been the biggest I've been in my life. Just like I didn't fit into my clothes. I always wore sweats. <laughs> yes, that life. And so this morning I walked Summer and we've been doing that since we got her after she had all her vaccines. And so every morning I would just take her out on a one mile to one and a half mile walk. And she loves that. She gets very relaxed. She's always like very, very hyper. And so technically I think she would want to walks a day and i was doing that during the summer where our the sun was out a lot longer like it didn't set till 9 p.m but now it gets dark really late and i still don't think it's very safe um for me to be out in the middle of the night walking a dog by myself and so i just walk her once in the morning um like before the kids go to school and then after that i work out in my home gym uh, the tempo a lot of you guys are asking about how the tempo is and you want a review so I can talk a little bit about that now as well and all the things that I absolutely love about it first I'm gonna make some protein water because I feel like I'm gonna be thirsty and I haven't eaten anything yet so the pro hence protein This here is Isopure Mango Lime. This flavor is not as sweet, so I like it, especially if you dilute it a lot with water. So just one scoop. This has 20 grams of protein, two grams of carbs, 10 grams of cholesterol. It doesn't tell me what kind of cholesterol. Oh, 10 milligrams of cholesterol. What type, what type of cholesterol is this? Hmm, interesting. The reason why I like this is, oh, let's turn off the light. And the reason why I like this um, is because it tastes like it's very, very light. So you know how like some protein shakes and whey protein, um, it feels like really heavy. This one is literally like flavored water. Oh, I remember why this tent is here. <laughs> we promised the kids they can sleep out here. And so we came home too late last night and so they didn't sleep in there, but they probably will sleep in there tonight. This is my outfit for working out. You guys always have questions. This is just um, a Nike sports bra. Um, I've had it since forever. And this bottom is from Amazon. This is the one where it also makes your butt look big. Let me see if I can angle it right doesn't angle right anyways makes your butt look big without the super thing in between <laughs> your butt crack you can see it in different colors um, get medium size up because this is a size small and it's super super tight and even if you have prime they make you pay to return it okay that's enough let's go so this is tempo as you can see it's like <laughs> A huge iPad looking thing um, and if I stand in front of it so the the spacing of it is pretty small like I think it's 
probably two feet wide and I don't know, like six feet tall. So the space in which it takes up is, is it has a small footprint, as you would say. Um, I was debating between lots of different home exercise systems when I first started looking for a, a home gym, such as Tonal versus Tempo. I think those are the main two that I, I was looking at. What deterred me away from Tonal was that you had to bolt it to the wall. So like, you had to find a stud and secure it to there and it's going to be really hard to move as compared to this huge ipad looking thing like if stan and i were to move go anywhere he and i could both like carry that and then move it to a different room if we wanted to the other great thing about this is that you can have multiple different people on the app and you pay for a monthly subscription and then it's per household. So like Stan has his own profile, I have my own profile so you don't have to share and then it tracks your progress and all that other stuff. The best thing about this is the actual classes itself. Okay, let me show you. So as you can see, this is my profile. I've taken 219 classes, a 32 week streak, which means that I've been working out four days a week for the last 32 weeks at least. So I've completed all these programs in the past, like a four week boxing and then strength training. Um, but the reason why I love these is because the programs itself are built in a way that is very science based. And so if you are trying to grow muscle, if you are trying to lose weight, these programs are structured in a way to help you maximize your maximize your gains and at the same time it tries to prevent injury so it has built-in mobility exercises and all that stuff and I, that's why i love it so much and the coaches are amazing um this is not sponsored by the way but tempo if you want to sponsor me like hello holla at your girl Ooh, another one that i'm super excited about is learning to meditate you guys know that I've been trying to meditate for a long time. I think it's so good for both your physical and mental health, um, but I haven't learned how to do it yet, and I feel like this is a really good jump start. So I think I am going to do this boxing class. I really enjoy boxing. It feels like I can let out a lot of my anger and my energy. It just feels like so empowering. Uh, anyways, you don't have to get any home workout gym to lose weight. Let me emphasize that. If you, most of my patients, I tell them just focus on your diet for now. Just, you know, look at that first. Uh, conquer that first because that is 80% of the obstacle there. Once you've mastered your nutrition, then you can focus on weight training. But either way, any sort of exercise routine or training that you can stick to for the long run is more beneficial for you than something you just do like once in a while or you go so intense that you don't go back to it for months at a time. So consistency over intensity every single time will get you the results. Results. Also with Tempo, I get really excited to actually take their classes. Like I feel like it's just my time to relax and take a break. So even if my body wasn't changing, like I really enjoy doing this. It's like going to a dance class, right? You don't go to a dance class because you want to lose weight. You go to a dance class because it's fun, um, at least for, for me. And so this is something that I really do for fun. So finding that time to play and just finding something that you enjoy is, you know, you're going to be able to stick with it a lot longer. Tempo also has artificial intelligence where the camera would correct your form. So when I was first starting out, I had zero upper body strength. So I was usually leaning back when I was doing overhead presses or bicep curls and it would correct me so I can then correct my form in real time. They also recommended weight increases to meet your goals in muscle building. And the day after I recorded this video, Tempo released that they came out with Tempo Move. So instead of this huge iPad thing, you will use your phone as a transmitter to your TV and your phone will act as a sensor to give you real time feedback. You obviously won't have things like the barbell, but I feel like this is a perfect 
starting point for someone who is just starting out for weightlifting and it is a lot more affordable. As I said earlier, the programs and the coaches is actually where the real money is at. I will have links to all of this in the description box down below. All right, that was such a good workout. Anyways, I got to get ready for Medical Mondays, um, but I thought that that was such a great workout and meditation class. Uh, the coach was saying how our minds have the power to influence our mood and so we have the choice and we can create a happy mood if we choose to every day and so I choose to be happy today I hope you do too and just remember that your mind holds the power look at this hair like this is insane anyways okay shower time it is now lunchtime, so I feel like this is the perfect transition to talk about my diet. I always said that a diet should be sustainable, something that you can stick with for the rest of your life. The main thing about my diet is that I will absolutely not restrict whatsoever, because when I restrict, I tend to binge on those foods. If I say I'm not going to eat Oreos, I will end up eating a whole sleeve of Oreos. So at first, I was trying to lose weight, so I figured out my maintenance calories using a calculator and then just decreasing by 250 to 300 calories a day. This is not a huge deficit, so I find that I wasn't hungry when I cut this small amount. This is less calories than a Starbucks Frappuccino. And then when I wanted to change my body composition, meaning that I wanted to lose fat at the same time that I was gaining muscle, you can still do this in a deficit as long as you're eating enough protein. So originally I was eating about 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. And then I realized that I was actually should be eating 1.2 to 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight. All this right here, is 100 calories because it's water spinach. I mean, I guess I didn't count all the oil, like the avocado oil that I put in here, but probably a little bit more than 100 calories. This here is two servings of egg whites, which is 50 calories, and it is, how much protein is in here? I don't know. So in that, it's five grams of protein. So this is per serving, right? So this is 10 grams of protein and then just noodles with <laughs> fish sauce. This is like all sugar. And then I like to eat my eggs with ketchup, you know, so. Other things that I try to do to remain satiated is increasing my fiber intake. Some foods have more fiber than others, like a cup of raspberries has eight grams of fiber, as compared to a cup of cauliflower has two grams of fiber. According to the USDA, the recommended daily fiber intake for women is 25 grams and for men is 38 grams. You definitely can eat more than this if you wanted to try to decrease your bad cholesterol. But the more that you eat, uh, this can lead to much softer poops. Well, that's probably a good thing anyways. Okay, I am done and I'm pretty full. Let me add in a couple things. Uh, let's see, avocado oil. <clears throat> so overall that lunch was 670, I don't know if you can see it, 674 calories. And I wasn't able to finish all the water spinach. <sighs> And I'm pretty sure this serving of vermicelli is like, I think when they count it, it's like dry noodles, not already cooked noodles. So I can't get an exact estimate on that. And then I had already measured out fish sauce. I didn't really measure out the fish sauce either. Anyways, don't have to be exact, but every time I'm trying to like I see that I'm plateauing or something like that, I'll do a track and then I'll look at some of my numbers as in my weight and my fat percentage and muscle mass. So when I look at this, I concentrate more on this protein number here, just the number. So as of that meal today, 
it says I got 26 grams of protein in. I found a protein bar actually from Costco that has a lot of fiber in it. So these protein bars from Costco, um, they remind me of the Quest bars because the consistency is like real kind of softer but still chewy and not doesn't taste so much like the artificial sweetener. Um, but this one is a chocolate chip cookie dough, chocolate brownie, chocolate peanut butter chunk, and then this one is cookies and cream. London likes this one. I like all of them, actually. This one's 170 calories and 22 grams of protein and 10 grams of fiber. So this little thing has more fiber than this. Obviously I try to limit processed foods as much as I can, but sometimes I'm on the go and these things are fine. Hey. <laughs> All right. So once a week, um, Stan and I, we try to go to the grocery store and not go multiple times, but we love to cook all our meals. It's a lot cheaper and healthier. And here he comes. All right, so right after I started talking about those bars, Stan ate one and his honest opinion was... It's chalky. <laughs> he didn't like it. He didn't like it at all. He was just like, Bleh. oh, it's gross, but I'll finish it. Yeah, pretty much. He said it was chalky and that there was an aftertaste. I'm pretty sure that is that artificial sweetener taste. It doesn't bother me as much. I mean, I guess it's, I wouldn't say it's chalky. It's like really chewy. If you guys ever had Quest, um, it's very, very similar to Quest. Quest, except it's Kirkland brand and it's fairly cheap. Uh, I was talking about how you really need to do resistance training if you want to change your body, specifically uh, progressive overload and just lifting heavier weights in order to grow your muscle. So it's like everything in life, right? The more you use it, the more you push it, the more it will grow bigger and stronger, uh, basically simply. The thing about cardio for weight loss, the studies have shown that it's not as good just because there's a constrained energy model, which means that the more exercise, the more cardiovascular exercise that you do, say like running, biking, um, all these other things, your other activity in your life will decrease and your body will self-regulate because it is very smart. <laughs> and so say, I run a marathon the rest of the day for sure I'll be laying horizontal so the energy that I would have spent like say walking around the house walking the dog um, cooking walking up and down stairs all those things are going to decrease because I expended so much energy doing this marathon and so it doesn't increase exponentially the amount of calories you burn but actually it's more of like a curve and it it peaks at a certain amount it's actually clean, no fruit flies. <laughs> Look how exciting this is. So, carb balance, it's only 70 calories and 15 grams of fiber. That's awesome. Hi! Hi. <laughs> I missed you, Mom. I missed you too. My. Huh? My. My. Are you waiting for me to drop the food so you can eat it? You need to wait. No, I'm not gonna drop anything. Thank you. I want to go play. That's yours? Okay. This is mine. No. mine. So a staple in our house is spring rolls. It's really easy and fast to make. Uh, everything's really fresh. It's light. And then after this, we're gonna have donuts. As long as you eat all your food, Wyatt. Then you can have donuts. Okay, eat, okay?
And then homemade peanut sauce, obviously. Another tip to make your life a little bit easier is to keep a handful of meals that are healthy and quick to make anywhere from 10 to 30 minutes. Having these quick and easy meals will help prevent you from grabbing other quote fast things that are more processed such as takeout. And that's all we had for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching and being here. If you haven't already, please subscribe, join the family. We put out new videos at least once a week. Links to everything I talked about is in the description box down below. Peace. No, just bite it, honey. You're getting it all over your face. <laughs> <laughs>